All right, what is going on guys? Back with another video and in today's video, we're gonna be taking the Mustang to the shop to get its uh, grounding issue fixed. Now, if you don't know what's wrong with the Mustang, I kind of explained it in like a few videos. What is wrong with my mask? I kind of explained it in a few videos. Um, whenever I turn the key, doesn't want to start, it just clicks. Click, click, click. I'll have somebody turn the key and I'll jiggle the uh, negative wire. And once it gets into the right position, it'll start up. And I know it's not the terminal itself because we fixed the terminal and it worked for a while and then it started acting up again. And all the wires are tight. The terminal itself is very tight. Uh, the wires that's going into the terminal is very tight. So it's no issue with that. So we're just going to bring it to the shop, have them see if it's the, uh, the grounding wire that's coming off of the, um, that, or the grounding wire that leads to the uh, block itself and not just the terminal or the grounding wire that leads to the battery and not just the terminal itself. So we're, we're going to see what's wrong with it and we're going to get it fixed. Uh, I'm not going to be documenting it because it's going to be at a shop and I'm, you know, busy all throughout the day so I can't like show up at the shop and you know record the progress and stuff like that but yeah alrighty guys so we just I don't know if you guys can hear me because there's like a big highway right there but we just got to the auto park shop or the auto shop I'm going to show the guy what's wrong with the uh or show my mechanic what's wrong with the um with the Mustang what it's doing how I had to jiggle the wire just to get the car started and stuff like that so yeah I'm going to do that really quick and then I'm going to catch you guys up with it up we're looking Gucci we're looking good I just met up with the mechanic told him what was wrong with the car <laughs> Tunnel was on with the car. He said that he's gonna replace pretty much everything on there So this stopped being an issue and he made a few, a few jokes. I'm not gonna say but uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how long it's gonna be hopefully it's just a few days maybe a week at most It doesn't seem like a hard job to do so hopefully he can get that fixed and get the Mustang back to me as fast as possible So I can enjoy that car again because it's been sitting for like almost two three weeks now just because of the issue But yeah, once that car gets fixed, I'll pick the video up then Alrighty, so it's a few days later and we picked up the Mustang last night. I didn't record it because it was uh, like nine o'clock or so and it was like really dark outside. And so you couldn't really see much anyway. But I'm gonna show you, go ahead and show you what happened or what was fixed. So uh, usually when I turn the car on, it would just do this. And I would you know, keep turning it. Like the previous video where I, I think I was out in, at college when this happened to my car the first time and I literally sat there just trying to crank it the entire time, not knowing what the issue was. And I found out that the issue was the negative terminal. We brought it to the shop, I think. Yeah, we brought it to the shop the week I bought it back from Oklahoma, back in like April or so. Had the issue fixed and then come like August or so, or whenever the weather started changing again, it started having the same issue again. And so, Get the keys out. And so I realized that it was actually it was a really like a, just a grounding issue. And to get the car started, I, have, I would have to jiggle the uh, negative terminal just to keep the car started, just to keep all the fluids rolling through it and everything like that. So the car is just not sitting because it sat for almost a month without me even touching it, or not not even touching, but just driving it because I didn't want to bring it somewhere and then get stuck because I couldn't I didn't have the ability to have someone turn the key while I jiggle the wire, etc but the issue is fixed now hopefully it's a permanent fix let me show you what uh the mechanic did and yes i let the mechanic do this because i did not feel like doing this once again because i did it once and i hated it ah, so here's what the mechanic did so originally i had like the duralast like gold um terminals he pretty much took those off and replaced them with i mean I'm not sure if these are new or used, but they work, so it doesn't really matter. And it looks like he put a new a, a new battery in here. It looks a lot smaller than the old one. So hopefully that's not bad. I mean, it still has 590 cranking amps, so it should be all right. It's just a lot smaller than the old one. Uh, but yeah, that's the issue that was going on with the Mustang. I would literally have to sit here and just like push this wire back and forth with the old uh, terminal just to see, or just to get it to crank over. And uh, it wasn't none of the wires were, um, it wasn't that none of the wires were uh, loose or anything, but for some reason, it just didn't want to crank over with those old, old terminals. And literally, I cranked them down, took the wires out, put them back in, re-cranked it down as tight as I can get it. And for some reason, it did not want to like start. I mean, it, when I did that a few times, it worked for like a week or so, and then it'll go right back to uh, just clicking when I tried to start it up. At that point, I was fed up. I was like, you know what? 
I need to get a permanent fix because I love this car. I love driving it, and it sucks not being able to drive this car when I want to drive it. Because, you know, driving a manual every day, it's fun, don't get me wrong. But there's times where I just want to cruise. <laughs> but, yeah. So, the issue with the Mustang is fixed. I'm going to start it up, show you guys how it sounds and everything like that. I think that was a big issue with this car for a while because it sounds healthier. It feels stronger and everything like that. So, maybe that, that grinding issue was a serious issue that was pulling power and all this other, other things. I noticed, like, whenever I would have, like, my headlights on or something like that that the lights every time like a song will be playing or I will put on my uh, brakes or whatever anything that has to do with drawing electricity from the headlights they would dim brighten back up dim brighten back up over and over again like a strobe light not as like serious as a strobe light but they would you know do that just like a strobe light so obviously there was something wrong with that ever since then since the new terminals got put on it hasn't been doing that it's about to go back to the shop again to get the uh, airbags fixed because Ford keeps sending us a recall notice on no, so gonna get that taken care of for safety reasons. And then once that's done, we're gonna start making content with the car again. I'm not sure what I really wanna do with it because I don't wanna modify this car, I wanna keep it stock. And just for like, for reliability reasons really, because that's the race car over there. Not really race car, but that's the modified car over there. And I wanna just do one, just in case something happens to one or the other and I have the other one, you know, to rely on with no issues and something like that. Cause if I mess up on that car, then I'll have this car to, you know, get me to from point A to point B if I need to. I also have the uh, motorcycle as well. So, I mean, I'm not really looking to modify this car. I wanna keep it stock. I have the motorcycle stock as well, just for the same reason. Let me give you guys a quick startup of how it sounds. It is no longer as louder than the uh, Camaro. No longer louder than the Camaro at all. Baby's doing good. Um, I'm probably gonna need to get a new tensioner soon because the tensioner is squeaking right now. Or the pulley, the auto, I think it's the auto pulley that's squeaking. It's one of the pulleys that's squeaking, so I'm gonna have to get that replaced soon. Um, I think I'm gonna get the valve cover seal re, uh, replaced as well when I, pay, when I take it to Ford. Um, because that's leaking right there. And so much other stuff that I'm going to get taken care of when I take this car back to Ford really quick to get some stuff fixed on it. Ugh. But yeah, when I take this car to Ford, I'm going to get so many things uh, fixed on it so that um, when... I mean, even the check engine lights on as well. Okay, yeah, this car has a lot of things I need to work out on it. Uh, it's going to be at the shop for a little bit, just getting various things put on here and there. So if you see, if you see me making a video about the Camaro and you don't see the Mustang in the background, then... It's, it's been going to the shop. I don't think it's all going to get done at once. I mean, it may get all, done all at once just for the simplicity of just getting it all fixed at once. So, yeah. But that's just a little update on the Mustang because a lot of you guys have been asking, where's the Mustang? And I'm like, well, I still have the Mustang. I didn't sell it, of course. And it's my baby. I love this thing. First car, my baby. I love it. I just can't really drive it because didn't want to start for a little bit. So, yeah. Something's burning. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. <laughs> Peace out. As I talk about the valve cover leaking, you can see smoke just pouring out right there. If I can zoom in on it. So you, you can see the smoke pouring out right there. Oops, if I can focus it. Focus, 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 focus. All right. So you can see the smoke just pouring out right there. Uh, it's touching on like the cross part of the header all right man, you guys can see the smoke just pouring out right here it's not horrible I'm not gonna lie yeah I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car off because it's getting a lot worse and I don't want to have the car catch on fire but I did want the car to run for a little bit um, it has been doing this for a while so I'm not like really concerned about it catching on fire immediately so yeah. <laughs>